Many Americans lined up early to cast their ballots, and tens of millions of Americans are expected to vote today. That is on top of record early voting numbers that have already come in. Our more, most recent CBS News Battleground Tracker poll has former Vice President Joe Biden in the lead, but all that could change. CBS News Elections and Surveys Director Anthony Salvanto shows us what each candidate will need to win the White House. Here's a viewer's guide to watching election night. The first thing to know is that millions of ballots have already been cast, a record number, and it might be most of the ballots that will be cast. We also know politically that Joe Biden has a lead in those early ballots. The question is, can that lead stand up to what could be a Republican turnout surge on Election Day? Let's take a look at the map and which states to watch. A possible path for Joe Biden could run up through the upper Midwest, winning states the president won in 2016, taking back places like Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, where Joe Biden came in with polling leads. For the president, his path probably starts going back through the Sun Belt. Places like Arizona, which has become a toss-up. Florida, always a close race. Georgia, North Carolina, and then back up through the upper Midwest for him. Ohio, Iowa, and trying to flip back into his column again, Pennsylvania, which could put him back over into the top. One of the big things to watch tonight as the results come in is, remember, this is a 50-state race. It is the Electoral College that decides the presidency, and it should be an exciting night. An important reminder. Thank you, Anthony. Chief Washington Correspondent Major Garrett joins us now. Major, good morning. Morning. From what you've heard from both campaigns going into this Election Day, finally we're here, yeah. how confident are they? At this stage, I think both campaigns and candidates kind of know where things are. They have a better sense than the voters do. And I think it's very important to go back to what was said last night by the two candidates. Joe Biden, for the first time, said, I think we're going to win. And he started talking about America in a post-Trump era. Joe Biden is nothing if not cautious. Him saying that out loud is a reflection of the internal data that they're going through. What did Donald Trump say yesterday? Could this guy win? Yeah. Could Joe Biden win? Those are reflections of what they're already absorbing about what they've seen at their state-level data and national data. I think that's very important. On the confidence scale, Joe Biden is a completely different place than he was just two days ago. I think I, we should, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead well, I was going to say, I think we should manage uh, viewers' expectations yeah. going into this evening. Yeah. There's sure. a lot of tension in the air. How is the night likely to look for the president, given when polls are closing and when those first results are going to be coming in? So there's this phrase people may have heard that I don't really like, red mirage, because it sounds yeah. pejorative. It sounds like it's a phony thing. It's not a phony thing. Votes are counted, and they're real. They're not a mirage, but they're not the entire picture. So on day of turnout, if the Trump turnout is very, very high, those votes will be counted first. Doesn't mean they're worth more or less. They're just right. counted first, but they will look better for the president. Then you add absentee early in voting and then in-person voting. Then the tabulation begins to look a little bit different. It's not a mirage. It's just a combination of things. So in some states... The president could jump out to what looks like an early lead. Yeah. If that lead dissipates, it doesn't mean anything's going on. It just means all votes are being tabulated. Right. And the Trump campaign rhetoric in court and in person is all votes counted, all votes legally counted. Well, let's count all the votes. But the early impression yeah. may be misleading. It, 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 may, it may indicate something that over time doesn't hold up. Yeah. And that's why you have to be patient, because mm -hmm. just because it's taking a long time doesn't mean that there's something wrong. Precisely. But, but I want to compare 2016, Major, because you were there. Yes. What are the similarities and differences you see between these two campaigns? Well, 2016, I was on the road for 16 months, and I was on airplanes and cars. This campaign I've covered from my couch. Oh. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, the other big comfortable. Difference, the other big difference, and this is really important, 2016 was a change election. Hillary Clinton was trying to extend for four more years an existing political orientation, the Obama administration, effectively. It's a very hard thing to do in American politics. On my podcast, The Debrief, Robbie Mook, the campaign manager for Hillary Clinton, acknowledged that they didn't understand how difficult that was. This is not a change election. This is a referendum election on the president's handling of everything. And because it's a referendum, he is the central focus of this election. Back then, it was change, and do you want to take a chance on a newcomer? Yeah. A lot of Americans Major, decided to. Quickly, are you expecting the president may try to declare victory early if the early votes suggest he's ahead? And are you expecting legal challenges from him? The Republicans have given every indication that that's on the president's mind. I will always give the president and any political figure the room to not do what their advisors say they're going to do. 
If this is decisive for Biden early on, I don't expect the president to do that. But if it's close, be ready. And we can say we're ready. We are ready. <laughs> we can definitely say we it's are gonna ready. It's going to be a great night. I think so. It's going to be a long night. Really, really looking forward to that. Coming up next, 